Hello and thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about the Billingham and in this case uh, the Billingham Hadley Large. It's a camera bag. I recently celebrated a significant birthday and thought uh, I deserved a treat. It's an expensive bag and it's expensive for a reason and that is that they use high quality materials in its construction and it's beautifully finished by craftsmen. I chose uh, the uh, Hadley Large because I've never got enough space and I believe that it's better to have more space than not enough. <clears throat> this one is the uh, Khaki and Tan. It honestly isn't my uh, first choice in colours. They do a beautiful burgundy one and the black one looks as though it would um, sustain more stains and scuffs without uh, showing them. But this one actually I found for about £40 cheaper than the uh, list price um, uh, and couldn't resist uh, what I thought was a bargain. I've stuffed it full of things by way of demonstration and um, it's a little bit unrealistic. I wouldn't carry these things normally um, in, this, in this way, but it's just to sort of give you an idea what uh, you can actually get into the bag. Okay, well I suppose the first thing you notice is this rather quaint way of um, holding the bag closed. Um, lots of leather, nice stitching and these metal trim um, things that sort of hark back to a previous era. This sort of reminds me of those um, military bags that people were issued with um, to perhaps carry a gas mask or something of that nature um, in the last war. Although of course I wasn't there. Let's have a look inside and um, see how we get on with that. Uh, that's the, obviously I can, I can adjust those up to, for it to carry yet more, but um, let, let's start with what we've got. Two front pockets with gussets, generously gusseted, and um, uh, that will allow you to put in, for example, a large flash. And in this case, I've stuffed a pair of binoculars in here to uh, show you more or less how uh, large these front pockets are. Those are my glasses. And of course, my D800 is in there. It swallows the 70 to 200. No problem whatsoever. But more impressively, it actually will carry the 200 to 500. I wouldn't expect to put those two lenses in a uh, shoulder bag simply because together they are rather heavy and it would soon become a bit onerous. But it's just, as I said, by way of demonstration. The other thing is that this uh, rather nice foamy and velour insert quickly uh, comes away with just one stud on the front here. It quickly comes out, allowing you to take that out and um, then use the bag for anything else that you might want it for, an overnight bag or a weekend bag. It really is very large. So um, you could get um, a change of clothes, perhaps another pair of shoes, all your uh, toiletries, etc., in, in there without any sweat. The only problem with that for me is that if I were going away on a weekend, um, I would invariably take my camera with me. So that's a bit sort of academic. Guys, I hope you found that interesting and um, if you haven't already subscribed, I would like to suggest you might consider doing so by clicking the little red box at the bottom right of your screen 
and perhaps come back and see me again another day when I'll be talking about other things that interest me in photography and hopefully interest you as well. Thank you for coming in. Look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Goodbye.